Yeah, it's tied into our main app there. Just go to the weather tab at the bottom, get all kinds of tropical weather information, radar, temperatures, forecasts, tweets. Say, hey, I got you covered when it comes to weather in New Orleans. You know that. Hey, how about hurricane season? Who's over it? Me, I'm totally done with the season, but we still have 48 more days left of the season, so we do need to get through that at least, though it goes all the way to November 30th. Some of you are thinking November 1st. Yeah, I wish. No, it's November 30th when the season is over. Fortunately, though, we are past the first peak. We are past the second peak, and now we're on our downward trend here of the hurricane season, so that's at least some good news. Now, traditionally this time of year, we do look for development northwest Caribbean, southern part of the Gulf of Mexico, and along the east coast United States. Notice here where most of the storms kind of turn off to the northeast. Why are they doing that direction? Well, we have those fronts that come in and kind of deflect them in that area. So as I've always said, August 15th to October 15th, that two month time frame is where we're always kind of going. Yeah, I got to keep the close eye on the tropics. Well, today's the 14th, tomorrow's the 15th. That's not to say we're done and not going to get a system, but the odds are much less after the 15th of October. So uh, fortunately, there is nothing out there to worry about. Uh, no Hurricane Delta. We don't have Epsilon out there yet. We do have Invest 93, but other than that, though, the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, rest of the Atlantic looking pretty good out there, actually. As we'll take a closer look at Invest 93, 10% chance for development. You can see, yeah, the forecast models take it in the Caribbean, but it's it's just going to be a rainmaker, not expected to develop into anything. And that is some wonderful news. So that is your latest check of the tropics.